We're still at the McGahee home, but it's October 25, 1974. We stayed up real late last night. Sure did. Then we stayed and up Gertha later. Tucker has come back across the road from Harvard's Harvard Mulkey's place. And you were telling me that I want to just track Harvard down. I had him down as uh, working for the U.S. Air Force at Marietta, but he's a heavy, uh, uh, what do you call him, Jack? Machine mechanic. He's a heavy machine mechanic, huh? Heavy duty machine. Heavy duty machines, huh? Has he been doing that for many years? That's his trade, huh? Fifteen or twenty years, and then you were telling me at breakfast that your son H.S. retired from the Air Force after a little over twenty-two years. Okay. Uh, Gertha, what we were talking about, you correct me if I'm wrong, we were trying to get a uh, little bit of a picture of life, the style of life, the way of life, as you remember it as a child in Gilmer County, from simple things like, say, in your own home, uh, and I've interviewed different people that were raised in Gilmer County. I'm trying to see, like, what what would a typical breakfast be, and what would... Uh... Well, you know, it's hard for me to remember, but I guess we had, uh, we always had milk and butter, and we had, usually we had hogs, you know, so we'd have some kind of probably white white bacon, you know, cured yeah, salt right. pork. <coughs> now you had and milk because you always had a cow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My dad Was always kept the cow. Was that true even when you left uh, Gilmer County? Did you until we went to Florida. Yeah, everywhere All the time we lived, in north or we, south Georgia. Yeah, we had a cow and sometimes more than one, more, right. maybe two or three. Right. Because there was a big family of us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd have we had chickens, so we had eggs, and, mm -hmm. and well, my dad always liked to make milk gravy. He called it mm -hmm. thick and gravy, you know, with flour and yeah. brown. After he fried the bacon, then he'd make gravy. And sometimes he'd break eggs, several eggs in it, and make it and make egg gravy mm -hmm. instead of just cooking the eggs separately. Mm -hmm. And then we had oatmeal. We'd eat oatmeal for cereal at times. And after we went to Florida, we had oatmeal and more than we did in Georgia. Uh -huh. What were the things that you remember as a treat? Like what would you never get except maybe at Christmas as a child? Oranges. Uh -huh. Never saw an orange except at Christmas time. Uh -huh. we, we'd get oranges and uh, candy and uh, apples. So of course, after we moved from the mountains, we had apples in the mountains all the time, yeah. but after we moved down south Georgia, where we, uh -huh. we would have... Uh, apples for Christmas and oranges, and sometimes we'd get bananas. Mm -hmm. Very little candy. My dad didn't believe in a lot of sweets. Right. We weren't allowed to have a lot of sweets. Did you ever, except to go to school and to go to church, did you ever go anywhere as and a we, small child? Well, just to visit relatives or friends. Only a few miles? Yeah, only a few miles. Uh, when, how old were you when you got to L.A.J., say? Did you, did when you we, get into L.A.J.? Well, I never went into L.A.J. as just going into L.A.J. When we went, we were going to catch the train to go someplace where my dad was moving to. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the, this was the first time you moved, or was this on a return you had returned? Well, I suppose it would be the first time I moved when we moved from uh, L.A.J., from Gilmer County, to Tennessee when I was... Uh, well, before my brother was born, I was the only one. You're the only child, so and your father, that mother, would be and the first you. time, but yeah. I don't remember that. But I remember uh, going when Janie, when we moved out there after Janie was born, Janie Lee. Well, I remember getting on the train and going to Tennessee and coming well, first, back on the train. How did you? What? What? You, you took a wagon, a wagon ride into Ella J. A wagon or a, a buggy or And whoever. you got on an old-fashioned coal-fired train. train, and we went and to. Where'd you go to? We went to Maryville, Tennessee. is the first place I ever remember going. Now, was your dad farming up there? No, what? he was working on the flume line there. Oh, he had yeah. gone on ahead, and we I think we went by ourselves with just my mother and and my brother and Janie was the baby. When you got up there, where did you live? We what lived time? in a tent. 
in a tent. In a tent. This was all sort it of was temporary a, it work was a that wood, the men were on? There was a wood floor and uh, boarded up, I'd say, about three feet. And then How the tent you then? was over. I was between, uh, oh, well, I was less than four. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how old I was. Did the train actually carry you to Maryville and your dad met you when you got there? Well, I don't know if we got off at Ducktown and were met there or whether we went on to Maryville. I, I really don't know. I, probably Ducktown sticks in my mind, so we must have gotten a train. You were close to like, uh, it was the copper area around Ducktown that you were coming into, or do you think, were well, you thinking more of Maryville further north of there? Maryville. Mm -hmm. Maryville's where we lived. And be further up in the woods from Maryville, up on the Just river banks, was. way up by the river. We That's lived close to the river. How many tents would be in the camp? Well, you my in? Uncle Rome and... Uh, was Uncle Rome working there? He was there. Was this because he had not yet left for uh, Oklahoma? I, I don't know. I, I think he was there when I got there. And then I think Aunt Minnie and Uncle Manuel Sutton came after we got there. They all got jobs doing the yeah. same thing? I think they did. Okay. We all lived in tents. You're right. And how <laughs> they long must have been working. Did you, you think a a flume there? line, I think somebody told me, is where you float logs down the yeah. river or something. So I don't know. Daddy just said he was working on the flume line. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. And I didn't ever go where he was working. Right. And you were... How long? You were four. Did you stay there as much as a year through a winter in the tent? Do you know? I don't know if we did or not, but I've stayed part of one, I guess. It was cold. Did you? You never started school there. Oh no, I wasn't. But you remember it being cold. It was cold, yes. And who was the only other child? In Coy, the Coy, and Janie. Janie died there in the tent. She had meningitis. That's what the doctor right. said she had. I see. So while she was buried at Ebenezer, she actually died in, in Maryville. Yes. Mm -hmm. see, she and you remember Rome being there? Oh, yes. And he came out. To, Mama sent me to tell him to come and help give the baby the medicine because of what she wouldn't swallow it. And when he got there, he saw she was dying. So he, he took her. He said, let me hold her, Ella. And I remember, and I was watching, and I didn't know the baby died, but it had died. And he took the baby out of her arms. But I was just a little thing. And then... He said, uh, Ella said she, she's dead, said she died. Mm -hmm. So they blew a whistle or rang a bell or something. I think it was a bell they rang, and my daddy heard it. And he came up the mountain, and he picked my brother and I up and carried us back up the mountain with him. Now, uh, where were you? Why did they ring the bell? Uh, to get my father home from the, where he was working. That was a way to notify? To, to notify. Mm -hmm. So at the tent colony, they could... Ring he had a, like a school bell or something, and he went out and he, he rang or he beat on it with a something. And now, let me get the relatives that were there besides your father. Uncle Rome. Uncle Rome. Mulkey and Aunt Hattie. Yeah. And uh, Uncle Manuel Sutton and Aunt Minnie. Right. Now, did they have any children at that point? And Uncle Rome had one adopted son, Jonas. That's the only one they ever had. Aunt Sounds to me this was the year that they claim he came back from Oklahoma, but I, we'd have to figure it out by your age, being about four. Yeah. No, he Oklahoma. hadn't yet gone to Oklahoma. I yet think Lily he, says he left, he couldn't be very young then, huh? You think? Is that be the reason? Well, I don't know how old he was when he got married, but they hadn't had any children. They had adopted this boy, and he must have been about, uh, he was large he adopted eyes, 10, the boy 11. in Oklahoma. He looked like he was how old? Looks like he's 10 or 11 years old. Well, maybe he went to Oklahoma when he was real young. Yeah. But I didn't know about that yeah, one, if right. he did. He must have been 10 or 11 years old. The boy was? Yes. Okay, yeah. Because there's pictures when, when of him, four. and uh, mm -hmm. Alice says this is when they returned with the boy they'd adopted in Oklahoma, as was her impression. Well, they adopted him when he was a baby. Yeah. That's what Aunt Hattie told me. But in Oklahoma, I thought, because I, Rome was well, that much older. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know if he, if he older than, um, uh, no, not, not that many years older than your, your own father. No. He had, uh, I suppose maybe they had gone to Oklahoma and come back, but this, I didn't know about that. The time that I knew that he was in Oklahoma was when I was at Berry School. That's after you, I'd gotten to yeah, be Yeah, tell 18, me about that. You 17. went to Berry School, too? Mm -hmm. This in 1925-26, and when my grandmother died, how did you hear at Berry School? How, uh, Don, Don and, and Elsie. Had Don and Elsie been there ahead of you? Yes, and I came up here to visit, and I stayed. That's the time I stayed three months with my grandparents. 
and Elsie came over to visit grand my grandparents with me while I was there. And uh, she started telling me about Barry and wanting to know, why don't you go? Why don't Where you get were you Florida living Center? at that point? Yeah. Living in Smithville, Georgia, mm -hmm. South Georgia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you had no trouble getting into Barry, though, into Barry School? Well, I don't think so. I think because Don and Elsie were there, yeah. they, they, got, they helped to get me in. Do you, uh, how much do you attribute, aside from your own uh, natural attributes, to what Barry meant in, in your education? Was it well, uh, I learned a lot there. I, I had decided not to go to school anymore because I couldn't seem to learn because the teacher was letting everybody talk at one time and I couldn't seem to absorb it. So I went to, I said, well, I'm just not going to school anymore. I'm going to stay home. And you were how old when you made up your mind? Uh, well, I guess I was just past 16. So when I went to Barry, I was 17, and then I became 18 the next mm -hmm. March. See, it was, I went in the fall of 25 and was there in the spring oh, of 26. You watch Aunt Alice duck under that thing. Yeah, she's her pretty age. agile. Yeah, at her she's age. pretty agile. I age. wish I could duck under that rope that way. She's, she doesn't act like she's her age, does mm -hmm. she? Not at all. Well, I want to go back to your childhood. You spent, you remember it being cold. Was there a coal stove or a wood stove? There was a wood the stove the in the tent, in the oh. corner, in the corner. I guess maybe it was what they cooked on. It was probably a cook stove. And that's what warmed it? Warmed the tent. And, and there was, was a row of how many of these tents in that colony? Well, they weren't really in a row. Ours was over here, and my Aunt Minnie's was back of it, and the seemed to me like kind of joint. And then out about yet, as far as me across the road seemed to me like where it was. Yeah, you were too young to know things yeah. like whether the company furnished it. I imagine them, they furnished it because of... I, I imagine... it from the pay or how they worked it. They probably did, because we didn't ever have much money. Okay. Then after that job, what do you next remember? Going back to Gilmer County? When Janie died, train. we went back on the train. Yeah. And uh, Aunt Minnie, mm -hmm. she went with us to the to the train, but I don't know if she came all the way back with us. I don't remember that. And I only remember her being with us because the right. the dray that was hauling the casket and us taking us to the to the mm -hmm. train mm -hmm. ran in a hole, and Aunt Minnie and I fell out on the river bank. Mm -hmm. And it didn't hurt us, I guess. And my mother yeah. fell out too, and she was carrying my sister Flora yeah, at that time. Yeah, a bad hole in the road. Huh? Yeah, a bad hole in the road. And it just went over like that, and we just toppled out. It was, you know, it's it like was a, a, it was a wagon of a fancy for with a fringe on yeah, top, yeah. two seats, and then a little little bed in the back, and that's where the casket was. Yeah. So I remember the man got out and opened the casket to see if everything was all right, and then straightened yeah. it up, and then got back in and said everything's okay, and we all went on. I don't know if Aunt Minnie just went to town with us, and or she went with us to Georgia. And the casket made the trip with you on the train. Yes. But you didn't see the casket. It was put in a mail car. No, a, we didn't like see it. It was in a mail car. Yeah. In another car. I don't and know. And then you remember the funeral for. Uh, well, uh, I vaguely Janie remember being. Lee. Janie Lee. I vaguely remember the funeral, but it didn't mean too much to me, not at night. Was Flora, was Flora your mother short. pregnant at yeah. that time with mm -hmm. Flora? Mm -hmm. So Flora was born shortly thereafter. Well, she was born in Cardi K, and I don't even remember us going back to Maryville until after. I don't remember us even going back there, but you I think, think we went back. I'm sure we went back because I remember that my mother was talking to somebody and she started to cry and they said, wanted to know what was wrong and she said that she'd just lost her little baby. Yeah. And that was after we'd gone back and we moved to a different place then across the river and we lived uh, right beside Now you the river. and Coy both went along on this Yeah, trip. we went along, but my dad didn't go. Now you're still <laughs> only about four. You're not yet able to carry Coy you know, no, but I carried yet. Flora. <laughs> All right. She was born in October, and I, I guess I turned six or five or something like that yeah. in, in uh, March, the next March. And from then on, you've already described generally taking on pretty good responsibilities. Oh, yeah. I, had, uh, I, I was always continually being called in to tend to that baby and to pick him up and carry him so he won't cry. And <laughs> well, you... Like that. Uh, you then moved to a number of different places. Well, we, the longest I ever remember staying in one place was in Smithville. That was five years. We stayed in one place. And that was the place you decided there wasn't any point in your staying on at school. Yeah. You weren't getting That's a pretty big decision for a kid well, to make. Well, I had been, uh, you see, I, I was far behind. Uh, Go ahead. You talk. I was far behind the others. And uh, everybody, you know, I, I was sick a lot. I had pneumonia when I was... 13 and I didn't get to go to school mm -hmm. and then the next year I took another 
attack that yeah. almost went into pneumonia, so that you made me miss. I missed three years going there. I didn't pass my grade. And I was behind everybody. Yeah. And that, that accounts for a lot. And I just couldn't uh, What was different about it. Barry's school then? They gave you an opportunity to rise with yes. your intelligence uh -huh. regardless? Mm -hmm. And we were expected to get our lessons, and we weren't threatened or anything, but they just expected it of us, and we accepted that responsibility. And it was Did a different time. Did you miss time. your folks, or was it a oh, source yes, of I was discipline? Oh, yes, I was terribly. Was it lonely? It was terribly. Did I was you terribly ever feel uh, there was any snobbish <laughs> attitudes towards you or not? That wasn't allowed. <clears throat> Everyone was equal. At no. three. You never felt you were treated differently. No, I only remember one time. There was one girl, she was kind of, uh, she had more things and she came from a better home than we did. I don't know how she got in there, but she was kind of a little, I thought she was a little snootier, but I guess she really wasn't. And she was walking along. We were marching from a church from our service and mm -hmm. she was, I turned around and she was pointing down towards my feet. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was whispering something to the girl beside her, and I thought she was making fun of my shoes or something because yeah. I had to wear some yeah. old ones. I'd broken my ankle and my foot, a bone in my foot. And uh, so later on, somebody said that uh, they heard a nice compliment on me, and I said, "What was it?" And they told me this girl was when we were marching back. Said she has such pretty legs, and I was worrying because I thought she was making fun of me. But that's the only time I ever remember feeling like right. somebody was snooty. So then I liked that girl from then on, but I just thought she was snooty now, because she was kind of Now, if you went there in 25 and in 26, you shortly thereafter married, you got married. <clears throat> I got married the next January. But not to someone you met at Barry. No, no. Mm -mm. And William Mullinix was from what area generally? He was from the same area there where I was, but he was from so, uh, Anderson, South Carolina, I think, is where he was born. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. I think it was Sumter County, uh, South Carolina. I believe it was what, Anderson. Well, you didn't want to discuss last night, and I'm not wanting to get any gradations or, uh, or really favorites as much as your mood towards whom you enjoyed socially more when you were a kid, growing up amongst well, your cousins or aunts or uncles. I guess or, we were around uh, Aunt Lily's family more than any of the others. And maybe was this because your dad's farm was closer to it, or no? Well, you were on the I, cove. I don't you were over in the cove, right, at the foot. Yeah, and they were somewhere around in the. I don't know where they were. <laughs> Probably around up in there somewhere. And then they moved yeah. to Kennesaw, and then we came down to Jasper, so we were kind of close to them then. I can't remember all those moves and, and just how. But let's far take we were. back as a child. You stayed in Gilmer County until what age, except for going to Maryville and. Until about what age were you around them up there? Well, I suppose I must have been, uh, we moved to Tennessee again then when I was seven. And I started to school at o Oakland School in Cardike, in Crossroads in Cardi That was your first? That's my first school. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, when I was seven, we moved to Tennessee. Who was the teacher at Oakland School? I don't remember. All right, okay. I moved to, we moved to Tennessee and when I was seven or between six and seven, and then which, we stayed. This was which move, not to Maryville? But no, to it was to Cleveland. Cleveland. What See, it was, Maryville was when I was four. Yeah, now your and dad was farming was, in Cleveland, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah, he had a he had a farm, but he worked away from home, too. Mm -hmm. and what I, kind of public work would he do? Then I went to school there, and after I was eight, I came back. I, I don't even know. Construction or? No, I don't, I don't know. I think he, I remember him saying he was working at Howardsville or something, yeah. going to Howardsville to work. Mm -hmm. Seems to me like I remember that name. You stayed right. there about a year, and then. Well, I must have gone there before I was seven. I went to school there. I was seven and eight, part of eight probably. Came back mm -hmm. to Kingston, Georgia. Yeah. And I went to school there for. Mm -hmm. From time I was eight until I was almost eleven, and we were in Cartersville when my sister mm -hmm. Minnie was born, and then I was eleven after she was born in October. I was eleven in. Mm -hmm. In March, the following year. <clears throat> I just can't remember all those places, but we stayed in, uh, that was during the war when we lived in Kingston, and my dad worked in a grocery store then, a general mer merchandise store and grocery store combined. It was, the name of the store was Rollins, Rollins yeah. Mercantile or something like that. Because Kingston. I didn't get your birth date either. I, um, March, the 8th, March the 2nd, 1908. And Coy, would you know his? August the 20th. Second, well, he's about a year and a half younger than me, I think. Be about ten. Eight, nine, ten, maybe nine or ten. Then Flora's 
He wasn't two years old, younger than me. He was, I think he was about 18 months old or something like that. Younger than me, I mean. And Flora was, well, I was close to five, I guess, when she was born. I don't remember. I guess you know, I was did, six. In your after. family, was there a family Bible where they entered all this? Yeah, but I don't know what happened to it. It's not in existence as far as you know. Nearly well, Don time. Mulkey, my brother, has one that uh, has most all everything this. listed in it, but I don't think they have Janie's correct. Uh, uh, my mother where does Don, Don live? He lives at Roswell, Georgia. And do you know his address? 9,000. Mm -hmm. 9,000 Fouts Road. I gave you that last night. Oh. But you... Oh, yeah. Fouts Road. They're still calling about that property? Or Davis. They always want F-O-U. F-O-U-T-S. Fouts Road, Roswell. Roswell, Georgia. What I didn't know, I want to put it down here, is that Don L. Mulkey has a Bible, right? Mm -hmm. that he's assembled, not the original boy. Now, I have an old, old Bible that my mother gave me. It's tied up with string. It's in a bag. She gave it to but me recently. Have the I haven't even opened it to see, I but I'm, I'm going to when I get back home. She gave you it to me. You might just I... see if it's like horses where you could easily Xerox the pages, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you <laughs> probably could because it's torn apart. No, I meant if it has the, the yeah. original entry. I said if it but has he has it. tried to back it up all, maybe, except Janie Lee, uh, Lee's... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, he has a Bible, not not Floyd's original one, though. No. I think the one that I've got must be the one that Mama's had all the time. Well, it could be that yours has all this data. It, it could be. It could be that they didn't put it in there, too. I don't know. Yeah, some of them don't. Yeah. Or they put it in, you see skips in it. But I know. think that my sister wrote all these entries in, the one that Don has. It's the one that my mother had later on, and mm -hmm. my sister just okay. decided Flora. She's always wrote mm -hmm. things down like and that. And you have Don's phone number, too. For yeah, He's not. tried to keep a record of this. Did you say that Don had more interest than... I thought, you correct me if I'm wrong, he married Lillian Fouts. Fouts. Mm -hmm. And this is Fouts Road. Yeah. Fouts and Fouts Road. But and they're not going to be living there very long. They, they have to be out of there. He sold the property and bought a place up at Royston. And uh, there, I don't know the address up there. All right, but he's got a phone number here, huh? Yes. And they might transfer calls, and they might not. Mm -hmm. But his mother-in-law lives to adjoining him. Before you turn off the road to go up to their house, is his mother-in-law's house. There's He'll no be moving home. this year, then, huh? He'll be. He has to be out by the 18th of November. Okay. So I don't know just when they're going to move. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there are other things that uh, we were back on that uh, about socially, about the things you did that you enjoyed doing as a child up in uh, Gilmer County with other kids. or Just general playing, going running through the woods and playing chase the fox and things like that and dropping papers, you know, and climbing trees and swinging from grapevines. And that's, we just did all those kind of things. You missed them a little bit when you got into flat country, you think? <laughs> yeah, I guess we did. Mm -hmm. And when we got down to South Georgia, well, we didn't have any relatives there. We yeah. were just down there all alone. Mm -hmm. So... You're the only one who went to Berry School. Mm -hmm. Well, my brother went and worked some for me to help pay my way, and he was Which planning one? to go Coy? to Coy. But he never got there. He went... No, he never did go to school. Okay. He He's a little school. like Charlie in that respect. He yeah. might have helped, but then didn't himself yeah. get to. Mm -hmm. But he liked it up there, and he wanted to go, but then... Well, he just didn't. He started rambling around over the country. I guess he's kind of like my father. He was a roamer, mm -hmm. rambler. That's what I, was, I guess I was asking you to characterize. Um, yeah. Your dad, by nature, was a little bit this way, you think? Yeah, he could go any place that he ever went, and in just a few days he'd have a job. And he usually made good money. And he Did wasn't he have without... skills particularly, or was it, it because he was likable and hardworking? Or what? Well, he was hardworking. He was a pretty good carpenter. He built a couple houses in Smithville area for people, just old farmhouses. You yeah, know, but he could, fancy. a good rough carpenter. Yeah, a good rough right. carpenter. He could do a little bit of finished carpenter, too. I mean, he yeah. could do things nice if he just wanted to, yeah. but he just didn't stay put long enough. He was yeah. a rambler, rambled around. He had a drinking problem, too, so. 
I guess you know that already. Was your mother, she was more burdened by just the, you think, the whole yeah, I suppose volume so. of children. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's enough to keep anybody down. I think if I had that many, I'd shoot myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's what, what's this plan? <laughs> Population zero now, the kids are? Yeah. Go with their goal? Something, I guess. And, um... All the you say you felt closest to Lily's children, and then your grandfather you felt close to, yeah. and then well, what, my what uncle Charlie, one? yeah, my uncle Charlie's children, Annie, me, and Anthony, we visited quite a bit, but they they were they didn't I didn't identify with them as much as I did Aunt Lily's children, for some reason I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Well, they they had more, now, and they were more educated. We got went to school more, you know. Your uncle Lily. Charlie, you're speaking of uh, Uncle Charlie's children. You don't mean Charles. Charlie no, I mean Charlie Mulkey, Seal, yeah. Yeah, it's that, they're the ones, okay. Antha and Anna Mae and... Oh, yeah. Sylvie, Sylvie was the oldest, Anna Mae, Antha, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Raymond, and then Azalee. Raymond and Azalee. Mm -hmm. A-Z-A-L-A-E. A-Z-A-L... I don't know how she spelled it. I have it down as A-E, but I don't know if I got that, that from Lillian, that she married a Williams, but I don't know his name. Uh, you might know it. I've heard his name, but I don't remember. And uh, do you know any of their children's names? I haven't picked that up. Uh, Asley's children? Yeah, Asley's. Well, she's she's got one she girl married named Williams. Something. She's got one girl. And, uh, I think she had twins, and the girl is named Antha Ann after her aunt Antha. Antha Ann. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I don't know the other kids. Ain't Aunt Lily? I mean, Alice probably knows them. I'll see if she does. Mm -hmm. Uncle and Morris Raymond will, anyway. is an attorney in Smyrna who's deceased and did not have children, he but I don't know who he married. Well, he married a girl named Jerry, but I forgot her last name. Jerry would be... Jerry would be Raymond. How would you spell it here? Huh? I don't know. I okay, he's it. deceased now. Antha is an attorney who was unmarried in Atlanta. Yeah, she still lives on... Um, Bellmead Avenue, I believe it is. Who, did she use the one I heard work for Coca-Cola? Who did she work for? I can't remember. She's always been working for lawyers and studying law ever since I, ever since she got out of Banana college. Then Anna married Ed Channel? Channel. Channel. C-H-A-N-N-E-L. Double I N and one L. Huh? I think it is. Yeah. No. You can he was a Marietta farmer and they had no children. Is that right? Somewhere I don't know. I guess he was a farmer. He has a furniture store, some kind of a store over here in Marietta now. Right now? Yeah. I think they still have it. All right. She said she was going down to the store. And so Sylvie. <coughs> Sylvie, uh -huh. he's still here. He's, yeah, I'm trying I don't to know figure out his first. Sylvie's the oldest. Married one. Annie Lou Jackson. Uh huh. If it's Jackson's Annie Lou, I don't know the last name. Um, then they had uh, Lou. Oh, we went over this last night, perhaps. Or, well, no, Jack McGee yeah, Jack gave me Gay. this. Louise is deceased. Then there was an Elizabeth. You That's didn't keep children. up with that. Uh -huh. So these children. I never saw them except when they were little babies. Have you kept up with Minnie's family in any way? Yeah, I gave you that last night. It was Minnie's, Arthur. Huh? You mean my sister Minnie? Uh, no, no, not your sister oh. Minnie, but uh, Floyd's no. dad's. I hadn't seen her since my children were very small. Yeah, no, I got your sister Minnie. Last May. Who married Arthur Francis, and we followed out all those. That was. Uh, Three children. Mm -hmm. But Arthur Lily Francis Bell King. had eight, right? Eight, yes. Okay. And they're in coming. Yeah, you, you, you're the only ones filled in a lot of these holes for me. I, who else do you know that's interested in some of the other people that I haven't filled in? I guess we're pretty close to gotten Gus's family filled in. If not Harv, I can go back to Hiram, but most of that's filled in. I guess back on uh, Charles. Charlie's family, Charlie. Sylvie's still around. He'd know all the... Well, I don't in fact, know I think Aunt Anthem. May, he's blind, and uh, Aunt May, uh, who's on the west side, May is, west. Uh, is staying with him so that if we can go by there, they'll fill in. I also well, don't know. Annie May might know, remember some. I don't know. Annie May or Ampha. I don't know if they would or not. 
and uh, that's and they they're in there. He has a furniture store in Marietta. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Uncle Jack. Huh? Yeah, there. I was going to ask him. I think the furniture store is there. Okay. Uh, Alabama. We were visiting my husband's folks out yeah. there. And uh, I was looking in the phone book for some name, and I saw a Mulkey name. Yes. And I called him, and I believe that it was somewhere in Alabama. Yeah. And the lady said that she wasn't sure, but she'd have her husband call me back. And, and uh, but she, it seems to me like that's the one that told me that she thought that her husband's great great grandfather, somebody, was named uh, Philip Mulkey. Now I'm not sure if yeah. that's the one that you I don't know the to. place in Alabama either. Coleman, Alabama, is where we were. We were in uh, Coleman. In but Coleman, I've got a, there was I've one got a phone book from Coleman, one from Birmingham, and uh, haven't found the Mulkeys or what? Well, I have. I just took them with me because I wanted to look up some things. That was last year when we went through there, and then I've been back up here a couple of times. And I just haven't and you think haven't had this time on, particular on woman in Coleman, the only Mulkey in the book, said that she I think thought. she said that she had remembered him saying something about uh, Philip Mulkey. Mm -hmm. But she didn't remember from what Gilmer relation. County, as far as she you doesn't know. know where he's from or anything about it. And I, That's going saying, back pretty far. If she can't identify from Philip well, on down because we can. Follow. Well, her husband might be able to though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then there's Mulkies in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, and there's there's Yeah, but Mulkies some of those in, could be. Yeah, I know they could. They could be simply offshoots when you think mm -hmm. of how early some of them left the mountains. You know. Mm -hmm. It could be offshoots, but it could be somebody that went out there during the gold rush and their uh, offspring still yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things that, uh, it isn't so, see, I just, I, the reason I want to do this and get it accurate this part is this is the easiest part. People are alive, mm -hmm. and you can do it if you just have to take the time and find How long have you been working on this? Oh, about 25 years. But the Not tough, on this part, not on this the mother part is side. Easy. Yeah, this part is easy. The tough part is going back well things like the house layout of uh, Kim's house you follow me trying to uh, just as simple as that uh, you know how many kids live you know in how many rooms and how, where, where the fireplace was that type of thing then when you go back to um, um, past uh, Kim you're back into the sparks and their road is tough too. The sparks are on the field side. And yeah, well, the foot Kim married to like the sparks. Side. This is Grandma Mulkey, Kim's wife. Mm -hmm. She was a um, sparks. Sparks. And then you go back to Scarbers and Grubs, and the line leaves off. See? I didn't know there were and, there. And if you think your dad <coughs> drifted a bit, uh, to like the sparks, father, on the grounds that he was always hunting a kind of water to drink. You may have heard this legend. Mm -hmm. He was always, you know, if it was, the water was either too stony or not limestone, not this type of thing. He was always moving about every year. He didn't like the water and he was looking for the kind yeah. he wanted to drink. And, uh, and really you get into, you don't like what you run into because you're not getting good human information, but what you find is a bunch of lawsuits against him around 1850s in Union County. Why would they have lawsuits? Well, I, I'm, I'm just saying it, it doesn't mean very much. It could be they wanted that, that it's a, oh. you see, you don't have anyone to defend, like to say, well, what could it be about? Why would somebody go into court and try to grab his land? You follow me with suit after suit, which he doesn't seem to defend against. Now, they could be that what he had done was already leave since he was drifting. Mm -hmm. And it was just a way that land grabbers grabbed off the land. You see, it could mean nothing. Yeah. But you're not really picking up, like I've got some old people to interview as to what happened to some of those fields, because they're part of that. See, but back behind uh, Kim Mulkey and his wife's people, they go off in every direction. Now those sparks almost all go to Texas. Like Uncle Jim Sparks, a lot of people remember coming back from Texas, who seems to be a popular... So he had to go there, Bible. didn't he? Yeah, he went there and Well, came maybe back. that's why Uncle Rome went out to Texas and then to Oklahoma. He well, was he in Texas, too. Well, he went to too. Texas, but he ended up in, yeah. Now, this would give you one <coughs> idea of where it goes now, back wasn't to. Wasn't they had it? Didn't she come from Texas originally? I thought that I were, don't know. I'd have I was, to... I you think mean where did. Hattie Taylor came from? Uh, Hattie, Hattie, uh, Jonah, uh, Jonas Monk, I mean, yeah, Rome I mean, Monkey, mean, Uncle uh, Rome's uh, wife, yeah, Hattie. I'm thinking, was oh, she a Taylor? Taylor? She might have been a Taylor. I, I think can look it up in a minute. I have it 
I think she was a tailor. I'm changing my paper here so much. Yeah, but I think she was from her. Texas. Well, here I had it. She had a sister in Texas, I believe. Yeah, here's it. She's, um... It was the time, only time that I saw her. Yeah, Jerome there. married Hattie Taylor. Now, that's as far as I've got that, but I should ask that. But when we were, but she was when we Taylor. visited there in 1961, well, Hattie, Hattie Taylor, Uncle Rome's widow, was this, there, and her sister was there with her, and she's, I'm sure she said she was from Texas. Mm -hmm. So I don't know now whether she came from Texas or not. I don't know. But a good many of these people went out west. Mm -hmm. Now, if they, what, when you go back, you see, to Kim Mulkey and Sparks. Then you go back to James C. Mulkey, and there's your tailor. Now here's why your tailor may be a local tailor, see? Kim Mulkey's mother was a tailor, okay? That's why he could have still been, uh, might not have been a distant tailor. Then Sparks's, uh, Talitha Sparks' father was William Sparks, but her mother was a Scarborough. The Scarboroughs, you go back to Scarboroughs, and they married Grubbs. But by now, you're into very common names. Scarboroughs have scattered all over the South. Yeah, I know. And unless you pick up the right one and you find the list of children, which I'm not, it's not easy to do. It's hard enough to find the monkeys. Uh, have you gone through any of the Mormon records? No. no I, I My daughter-in-law would like to do that. But she why? Says, well, why she Mormons? says she, she just thinks maybe they might. It, unless some they of her went folks to Utah, know, they went they to They may have, a lot of them went west. Well, unless you know, there's no point you know, in wearing yourself down doing it unless you know they go to Utah, then you got good Mormon records. Well, you don't know where they went if they just went west, you don't know well, where they you, went. Well, you got a good idea on some of them. I have the idea, that, I mean, I know they went to Texas, that's that's enough usually, and a lot of people were going to Texas in those years. Um, I don't know where I've got this list of Well, uh, you know, there's lots of Mormon people in uh, Arizona. Oh, yeah. There's a lot right. of them. Tempe yeah. is just practically, the Tempe, Arizona is practically right. all Mormon. I mean, they say if you're right. not a Mormon there, you're just not noticed. <laughs> but then a lot of people in those areas, the Mormons are so sociable that a whole town has become Mormon, regardless of what they were originally. So that, mm -hmm. you know, you gain a record, but it may not go back for you. I was trying to find the... Um, well, I was reading sparks, about their yeah. uh, tunnel they have in the granite mm -hmm. rock out there where they got all their records and places here, to work. Here, just to give you an idea of how many Sparks, Kim married Talitha Sparks, is the smallest of the Mulkeys. His brother, Ben, married Allie Sparks. They're so related? Yeah, sister. Mm -hmm. uh, now, they had ten children. And uh, while most of them began as Gilmer County farmers, let's take the first one, Minnie went to Texas, to Lubbock, Texas. She married Charles Goble. You see, a trail would pick up very early. Now Think of how far back that is. That's she's uh, Minnie Kim's Hughes. younger brother. Minnie. The, the first child of, uh, of um, Ben, who was the younger brother to Kim which would make quite an old, I mean, it'd be someone around Don's age, I think. Lubbock, yeah. Texas. Yeah, and, and went, must have gone right out there. Well, Jonas, uh, Uncle Rome's son, he lives uh, up in that area. He lives at mm -hmm. uh, Wichita Falls or somewhere in one of the little towns around there. Uh, here's Not another there, one, uh, uh, Nancy, uh, another brother to uh, Kim, had a fourth daughter, Lura, who uh, joined I've lost it all here, but they ended up in Texas. Mm -hmm. I heard my mother speak of Aunt Nance. I used to call I've her. got to really take these records and see what I do every periodically. I type them from earlier pencil ones before I had enough information. Then you keep Don't getting have, contradictory information. You ought to space them. Yeah. <laughs> Two or I've three got, lines in between them. Well, I have got some systems now, but I haven't, I'm, I'm bad to get organized. And um, well, I've got a nice system. Uh, this is just part of the junk I have on it, but especially these court records that go back. You see, even though I can't find Philip as early as 1845, Mark P. Mulkey, whom I can't even identify, is called as a juror, and he serves on May 3rd, 1845. Well, that's 130 years ago. He's one of 24 jurors. He's number four juror. 
Now you know uh, and he spelled and without an E. Where this was is this? Gilmer County Gilmer. Court Records. <clears throat> you don't have any There's any no E Y, no E Y in those days, just a Y, see? But James C. Mulkey, the father of Kim, is called in, in June in the January term and he spells it E Y. Well, they probably just left the... They do in it now. Days, they, in they those do days, it now. Uh, people didn't spell. You look at well, some of the Bible, they'll say born instead of born, you know, mm -hmm. for a child. I mean, it's just a way yeah, of talking. Yeah, well, I mean, the Malkis, a lot of them now spell it. A lot of people will spell your name, leave the E out if you don't correct them. Right. But, I mean, these were people officially spelling their name that way, you know. And then, uh, you know, Robert Evans was part of that, and, and he's all through here. <coughs> Find out anything they didn't know? <laughs> well, yeah, mostly pieces of things. Um, do you know of anyone else who's interested? Uh, let me just review them with you and then you can tell me. Uh, Uncle Horace keeps up with the whole monkey thing. He keeps up with it? Yeah, very, very well. Goes to annual uh, reunions of monkeys. You say Don has this. You, first of all, you have a Bible that might have birth dates in it. I have the old Bible that was that. mama's. It's all the pieces in the paper. What is your mailing address when you get home from this? 2865 South Weber Place. W E B E? W B B E R. Place, Sarasota. And the zip? 33580. Oh. And the phone? Um, Three seven one, three two, two six. I'm hesitating because they've changed the number on me. Now. Yeah. <laughs> now Don would still have a phone number in Roswell. Yeah, but I, it's in my suitcase over there. I've got the book. I should have brought it over. I don't remember I his phone the, number, but the people. Probably in one of those. Oh, yeah. you mean it's in that fat Atlanta? Fat one. Big fat Atlanta one, huh? Well, um, it should be. It's in the Atlanta yeah, area. I tell you, it'd be just fun to see the monkeys here nowadays. There's a lot of monkeys everywhere I go. I look in the phone book. Well, this is called Greatest Smyrna. Oh, yeah, I was, Can you was, imagine a few years ago what Smyrna would have been? <laughs> Greater Smyrna, just the end. Do you remember when we were over at Aunt Ellen's and Alabama? And Alice, we're back here the next morning. We kept you up kind of late, didn't we? Mm -hmm. You admit that, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you got up early this morning, and we finished breakfast, and we had a lot more company, huh? Yeah. Um, this says it's Alto Mulkey, this small picture about three inches by two. Does that look like Alto when he's... Oh, yeah, that's Alto. I know it is. All right. And is this a picture of you with somebody right there? Yeah, this is uh, this is That's one I was going to tell you about this right. morning. You wouldn't be still. Mm -hmm. Well, anyhow, this is uh, see I taught school at this and boarded at this girl's house. All right. You see. Yeah. And she went to school to me all the three years that I boarded with her daddy's people, uh, her people. Right. You what know. What school were you teaching at then? At Clayton School. You were the black-haired girl. <laughs> yeah. Alice on left. And where was Clayton School? Uh, it's in it's in uh, Gilmer County. How far from your home? Well, I guess it's about was about three miles from where we was living there. I was we was living at Cartier. And you then. boarded with this girl? Yeah, we boarded. What was her name? I, I boarded at uh, mm -hmm. Ruth Clayton. Ruth Clayton. I boarded there for the three years. What did years. you pay for your board? Twelve dollars a month. And what did they pay you to be a teacher? Uh, Thirty-two dollars a month, I believe. What year would that have been? You know about when it was. Well, it was about 19, and I started off, I've taught three years, you know, mm -hmm. and I think it, let's see, if, wait a minute now, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. 17, 1917, 1918, and 1919. Well, maybe 16, 17, 18, okay. maybe. All right. Because I married 1919. All right. It was the three years before you married. Yeah. Okay. Now, you were only 21 years old when you started then. Weren't you born in 1895? 1895? I, I didn't say that I was 21. I started teaching before I was... 
21. 21. You taught yeah. before you went to Clayton School somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. Where did you teach before that? I uh, taught at Burnt Mountain and, uh, and, uh, um, How long were you at Burnt Mountain? Just one year. Yeah. How old were you when you started teaching? I don't know, I guess about 16 or 17 days to teach school. You they finished taught, grade they school. Finished grade school and went to high school. Where did you go to high school? Oakland High School. And how long did you go there? Well, about a year, I guess. Okay. And then you began teaching mm -hmm. at, say, Burnt Mountain. And I went to months. summer school, you see, in L.A.J., training for teachers. I got Every you. summer. I'd go there, you see, every summer. Yeah. Now, and I got what I needed to know mm -hmm. to teach the children I was going to teach, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And back then, they had sense enough to know that a fellow didn't need to know everything how to teach. How wise you uh, are. Uh, to teach uh, just uh, children how to read. You didn't need a Ph.D., age. did you? To teach spelling and reading and writing right. and arithmetic and all that but stuff. But let me ask you a question. You're not a large person. You speak articulately, and you're a uh, forceful person when you want to be. Uh, did you have a problem because of your size at keeping those boys in line that you had to teach? Or? No. No problem at all. Was it your manner, do you think? You knew I don't how to know. I didn't them? have no trouble. If they needed whipping, they stood up and took it like men. What did you whip them with? Just a little old hickory. About an inch didn't have no. I didn't have no paddle, just right. switch, hickory switch. Hickory switch. I maybe. didn't have to whip much at all. No. The, Okay. How oh. did you keep them entertained then, besides doing their work of reading, writing, well, and arithmetic? Well, they, they, they just, children, I don't know, seem like they wasn't as bad as they are, as they claim they are now in school. Okay. You know, what we've been talking about, Aunt Alice, is that ordinary people, like the Mulkies, you know, the Sparks, the West people like that, that were farming people, mountain people mm -hmm. have never had their history written up it's the rich people or the famous people you know mm -hmm. sometimes the history isn't very good you know or they're not uh, very good character people but they get their names in it what we're trying to do and I appreciate very much your assistance because Lily has been recording this way for me for maybe 25 years mm -hmm. and giving me facts is I've been to Horace and Uncle Gus and I'm spending time with you and Uncle Jack and then you've helped a great deal and I'd like to ask your assistance if, if in the project. What we're getting straight is the facts so we can write them up, you know, of the historical data. Mm -hmm. Then I'd like to ask whether if we used a copy camera say on ones like this, to get it off precisely, you see, mm -hmm. if we could have your permission to use them, like of the different, you know, families to make up a family history, return these to you and in fact use the negative and give you extra print, you know, you might like to have mm -hmm. of some of these. Mm -hmm. So that what we could do is put together, I'm not interested in the current generation except the facts of it, because the current generation has so many recordings and so many photographs. Mm -hmm. They're drowning, but when you go back to Uncle Joe Mulkey or Kim or have a picture of someone like that, they're beginning to be rare, you know, these ten types, and they have to be preserved, you know, the way um, HS worked in the, you know, in the service. Mm -hmm and put it together with these layouts. Like one of the things I've tried to do is to like lay out the, uh, the house layouts, where the barn was in relation to the house, how a large family like just stayed together, you know, at Cardicay or at the foot of Burnt Mountain, you know, mm -hmm. the way the, uh, where the fireplaces were. Uh, where the cooking was done, you know, in, uh, because those were tight family units, you know. And I think their story ought to be told because Kim was a remarkable kind of person and, and a lot of those people were. Mm -hmm. So what I'd like to ask is whether 
you could comment any further if you would on your uh, experiences I know you're modest and say you don't remember very much and all but of uh, you told me a little of the impressions you had of Kim as a father and what your other impressions were of those years like were they happy years for you as a child yeah I, yes I guess I was better satisfied than the average child is now in their abundant surroundings. I imagine I was better contented. Mm -hmm. Do you think you worked hard nevertheless? Yes. I started dropping corn to plant when I was just uh, before I was old enough to go to school, I guess. Maybe four years old or something. Huh? Five, Five, anyhow. Okay. Take a big old gourd and cut a hole in the side and put a uh, string through that handle put it around this mm -hmm. way it is light you know mm -hmm. the gourd would be light For right now small out. child yes mm -hmm. and uh, and I drop corn mm -hmm. would you follow your father as yeah, he yeah did you enjoy oh yeah I thought company I, was, I thought I was doing something working in the fields you know mm -hmm. you looked the, forward to it before you were old enough they minded think? a bit mm -hmm. what other tasks did you do and chores oh anything that after the rest all got away from home and the milking had to be done I'd help with that I'd milk the cows when I got big enough to do that mm -hmm. and the others married off see I'm the youngest one were you ever there alone with your parents did it get to where all the others had left did it ever get to that mm, no I don't no, let's see. Uh, when we lived at Cardi K, Horace was he went to the to World War in the World War Two, and then World it was War just I. me. Yeah. yeah, World War One. I, I mean, mm -hmm. and uh, then there's just me and and my daddy and mother, mm -hmm. and of course we had somebody staying there most of the time going to school. You know, mm -hmm. uh, that's where I went to school at Oakland when we lived at Cardi K. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, so we had different people that. Yeah. come and stay there to go to school they, from farther yeah. back you know but they couldn't how about home. Horace was gone to the war 19 were you then alone when Horace left with your parents or were there still some of the children left no well, there wasn't none of the children left I'm the so baby you boy. were the baby and yeah. you were left huh? mm -hmm. did you enjoy your parents company more or did you ever feel neglected or were you spoiled as the youngest one no my parents said that they never could spoil me said I wouldn't take petting mm -hmm. they never could have spoiled me mm -hmm. they said did they try to pet you much do you think no I don't think so didn't have time <laughs> they were too busy yeah. did you ever like to watch Kim do his chores do you remember doing that no I don't remember about it making uh, uh, say shoes or those kind of things oh yeah and I've stood around and watched him working in the shop sometimes and making shoes, but I don't know if I, re I enjoyed it. I don't know. I've seen him do it, though. I've it didn't worry me. Right. It didn't bother me. Did you me. ever help him in his blacksmith work? Ever work the bellows or anything? Yeah, I've done that. Mm -hmm. I've pulled that old stick down that he blowed the bellows with mm -hmm. all the time. Did you like to do that? I didn't mind it till I got tired. Was there any singing much in the family as you grew up? Yeah, we sing. Uh, Earn heart. We, sing we had an old organ, and and every night, nearly Paul'd say to us, "Now, Alice, get in there and play so and so, and you and Horace sing me a song, and I'll go to sleep." Could you play the organ? And did you? Yeah, I played the organ. What were some of your favorite songs, Aunt Alice? Oh, I, it's in books that we had a long time ago. Yeah, were they hymns? Yeah. I, well, if he wanted, he'd tell us usually yeah. what to play. One of his favorite songs was uh, the one the last time that he heard Molly sing before she got burned to death mm -hmm. was uh, uh, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. Yeah. He would like that. He liked that a great yeah. deal. And you would play it on the organ? Yeah. And did Horace have a good voice and you'd yeah. sing with yeah. him? Yeah, he had a good voice. Could you sing in harmony and shape note singing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. 
He'd lead and I'd sing alto. Mm -hmm. And Paul would go to sleep while we were singing. Mm -hmm. I guess he was like Jack, wasn't he? He enjoyed. Jack likes to watch the news, I guess. When he hears the weather, sleep. he goes to sleep, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a lot of us, huh? The reason I go to sleep is because I've lost so much sleep. I haven't had all night. I day. know. Last night you had a hard time. I did. I up three or four times doing that. I know it. How is your leg feeling now, Jack? Oh, it hurts all the time. That's a shame. It just hurts all the time. No way you can take enough analgesic to help it. I expect to be uh, be bothered as long as I live. Mm. That's a that's a real bother though yeah. because you have to doze during the day to make up for your loss of sleep at night, don't you? I can't stand the cover laying on my leg and foot. And do you like to walk around? Oh yeah, I walk and see it gets easier when I walk. Yeah, it changes it. He I think one big thing about it getting easier He's got his mind on what he's seeing and something Oh, else. I think you're right, yeah. That's part of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these walks, yeah. you just, you know, you can just right. get miserable sitting still or lying still. There's a couple of more. We've looked at a lot of pictures and I've made notes. Could you tell me who we're looking at there? I'm showing you a picture pasted onto a board of a mustached man, a woman in a black dress, and two young children. That's Charlie, my oldest brother, and his wife, and two oldest children, Sylvia and Annie Mae. That's almost uh, like the other one. His wife was named... Vice. Uh, Vice. Mm -hmm. That's almost like the other one we just looked like, huh? Sylvia and Annie Mae, did you say? Sylvia and Annie Mae. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I believe... What are we looking at here? That's Gus and Jean and Howard, their oldest child. Gus, Jean, and their oldest son, Howard. Howard is dead now, isn't he? That's yeah. right. Now, is this uh, your oldest brother, Charlie, with a mustache That's and a right. hat alone there? Okay. And this is a picture you told me when Rome is not looking well. He's already ill after yeah, your visit. There. And I think we decided that uh, this is Jonathan Mulkey and his and Aunt Mandy. Yeah, that's all. We have Jonathan very Mandy. few pictures. You see, for what we want to try to produce, that you're helping with, Aunt Alice, mm -hmm. of that generation. You follow me? Like you don't hardly have many pictures of Kim, right? Uncle Jonathan was of that generation, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't have too many pictures of, like, Wash Mulkey or, uh, you know, they're not around, right? Unless we find them, you know, in, in other, uh, uh, like, uh, Bernie might have them of Joe Mulkey, you know, his family. Uh, so that we could put together and show the history back, if not all the way to Philip, at least have some pictures of that James C. Mulkey group of sons, you know. I want to tell you how much I appreciate, you know, your cooperation because what I'm trying to do, it's never... I want to... Was that we... I've identified these, okay? What I'd like to... What I'd like to know now, Aunt Alice, is that uh, I have your permission to copy them and return them with an extra for you. Would that be all right? Do, do what now? To copy them on a copy machine, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And return them to you with an extra for you. You follow me? Extra set that you might want to have to give to someone, okay? Yeah. Would that be all right? Yeah, that'd be all right. Yeah. Because I'd like your permission to use these in any publication about the Mulkies, you know? Okay? Because the, is that agreeable? Yeah, that's all right. All right, because I appreciate everything you and Jack have done in hospitality here and in helping. Now, just these is what you want. Yes, yes. Well, let the me rest sort of, you take, let you me look, sort of yeah. See who it, what it and is. I'm going to copy them and return them, okay? Well, see it is, sir. You make sure you get them back. And, uh, and put uh, them in the she's a witness to that. Yeah, right. I won't, I'm, I'll put them in an envelope. I won't lose them. And I I'll, believed it before I said she's a witness. Yeah, you, you be sure, and I'm going to put them in this envelope. Where I have a copy. Uh, this is a bunch of them. 
Huh? You got it. Well, now there's your big piles over there, but these are the ones, yeah. the older generation that I wanted to copy. Well, then. I said that you you gonna have a bigger job than me waiting for them to get back. I'm not worried. Okay. Right. We'll, we'll make sure. That we'll make back. sure we'll take good care here. Oh. And thank you for your yeah, all cooperation. All the things some of them might ask about, well, where is so and so such and such a picture? We yeah, have to remember. We'll you know. Jack, you've been a wonderful host. I mean, we I sure. And thank you for everything. I never, I never saw. Well, I'm glad Miss Alice was up there secretly making that breakfast this morning, and she was so quiet as a little mouse. He kept telling me, stay in the bed, ain't Alice? She right couldn't up? be up. I said she'd be clunking the dishes together, and she was Like me, I'm throwing the pots and pans in them. <laughs> We're now at the Sylvie Mulkey residence on Osborne, and is this in Smyrna now? In Marietta. And we're not far from the nursing home where uh, Ella Bates Mulkey is staying now. I don't know the name of it, but it's just up, sort of around the corner. What is the name of that rest home? Sir? That rest home. Autumn Breeze. Autumn, Autumn Breeze, right. Well, we just uh, interviewed uh, Ella Bates Mulkey, who was Floyd Mulkey's uh, widow. She what? You mean after Floyd died? Yeah. Who did she hand. marry? A hand, wasn't it? Yeah. What? H -A -N. I don't have that down. She married a hand? Yeah. Okay. And is he dead or? I think they separated. I they up. separated. Okay. Well, we're, uh, we've got some time on this tape. And present here besides Buddy is uh, Aunt your Aunt May, who is J.O. West's youngest sister, right. and the daughter of, you like to speak up I'm, a little louder if you don't I'm, mind. Well, I'm the daughter of N.B. Uh, West, Bud West. Bud West, mm -hmm. and his full name was Benjamin Nathaniel? Nathaniel Benjamin. Nathaniel Benjamin. Okay. And then Sylvie Mulkey, who oldest, is the oldest son. oldest son of the oldest of the Mulkey children, or the son of Charles, who was Lily West's oldest brother, right? Charles Oscar. Charles Oscar, who married Luvisi. West. Okay, there was a double uh, Mulkey West marriage in that family. J.O. West, is that right? They should be the dad of double first cousins. Huh? They should be the dad of double first cousins. Double first cousins. Right? Double first. Can't beat that, can No, you? so you've got your double first cousin here. Now, it Let's take care of the first thing you were telling me about, Sylvie, just so we, uh, you know, dispose of it while we chat. You recently, within the last month, got a letter from where? Do you remember? Arizona. From where? Arizona. Arizona. And it's about a fellow named Mulkey? Yeah. All right. A John Mulkey. I actually got that letter. They wanted to sell you a book, isn't that what it's connected with? Then I know about that, if that's what it is. This is a preacher down in Tucson who's published a book about a, um, a novel it, it, it based on facts, but he doesn't say whether they're historical or actual facts, but it's a novel about a Reverend John Mulkey. But it's not clear that he's a real person. You see what I mean? Okay. Yeah, and he sent that letter to all the monkeys he can find because a lot of them are buying the book. You see, it's not like a historical record. Yeah, and I'll tell you who's bought it and told me about it is uh, F.J. in uh, Marietta. Uh, uh, he sent out and bought it, and, uh, and uh, it's a novel. He, he's explained it to me. Now, let me uh, 
Uh, if we can leave that, you send it on to your sister, Antha, who's an attorney in Atlanta, is that right? That's right. She's okay. So if she was interested, I guess she keeps a lot of that history up, does she? Or? Uh, she was, if she would go, she ordered, she had to take her own out. Okay. And my daughter wanted to get her one, wanted to get on her one, and they got to talking. And somebody asked her at the, oh, at the office where she was at. If she knew anything about this, and she said no, she didn't know a thing about it. She said well, a lot of people get fooled, I think. Right. And I said, I don't mean if I do okay. have fooled with it. So she just tore up her chain and didn't order it. That was that uh, Antha? It was Antha. Okay. Now, Sylvia, do you mind, uh, is your name spelled S-I-L-V-E-Y? That's right. And is, do you have another initial? I notice it's S-S on the box. Well, uh, Sylvester S. Barkey. All right, you were born Sylvester S., huh? What was that middle name, the other S standing for? Shelley. Shelley, S-H-E-L-L-E-Y? That's right. Did they pick that because it was a famous English poet named Shelley, or where did they get it? I don't know where they got it. Let's say they did. And, they, and you've always been called Sylvie by everybody. Okay. Now, you ran a store for most of your life. Would you say uh, on the Marietta Austell Road? Austell Road, huh? Well, I ran a store in Alabama for 10 years. Hmm? In Alabama. I ran a store that's in Alabama for about 10 years. Okay. And over here, 21. When did you retire then? I quit up in February 1971. Okay. And your vision has given you problems in recent years. A few years. years. Is that right? Increasing problems, huh? I'm blood dry now. Mm-hmm. Take all the eyes see out of that. Mm-hmm. And that's why you've got this talking book uh, program and all this thing to try to supplement. They said it to me. Right. Now, uh, your father, Charles Oscar, married Lubaisi West. And they together farmed in Gilmer County until 1919. Would that be about right? Could I ask a question? Who has the, say, family Bible? Was there one with all the birth dates and all? We got an house for it. All right. Do you know, could you give me your birth date? Or do you have a record of all the children's birth dates? All right. Let's start with yours. Last day of June, 1902. 30 June? Last day of June, 1902. 1902. That puts you on Medicare anyway, huh? Yeah. And uh, did you first marry Annie Lou Jackson? That's right. And from that marriage, did you have a daughter named Louise? This is the order you're giving them to me in, in age now. The oldest was Louise. Oh, oldest was Del. Excuse me. Del. Oh, the oldest was Ruth. Ruth. Wait a minute now. The oldest was Ruth. Ruth. Oh boy, I got to redo this. The first child was Ruth, huh? Yeah. Somebody gave me these in bad order. Ruth. Louise was the youngest one. All right. Ruth was the oldest. Del or Dave. Delmer, and he was a boy, D-E-L-M-A-R? D-E-L-M-A. M-A? D-E-L-M-A. And it looks spelled, his mom spelled it D-E-L-M-A. M-A, okay. And he was your son, and his second child. Who was the third old? Who is? How about Elizabeth? Elizabeth, Elizabeth was the next, yeah, she was next to Delmer. She what? She next was next to Delmer. To Delmer. Right yeah. after Delma? Yeah. Then she was the third. Yeah. All right. And Louise was the last. And Louise was the youngest, huh? Now, did Louise, has she deceased today? Oh, yeah. And is Elizabeth still lives somewhere around Hurt Road in Smyrna? Yeah, she lives on Hurt Road. And who did she marry? She married uh, Claude. Excuse me. Hey, Claude. Claude. 
What was his first name? Do you see uh, any of them any? Or how do you spell McClaughton? Do you know? Well, you won't know if you'll be able to guess. It could be A-U-G-H-L-I-N or L-A-W-T-O-N. It's Dr. M-C. M-A-C, Mac? Yeah, and then Lawton. We don't know whether it's McLaughlin. Look, on, it's they're not on Hurt Road, buddy. It's off Hurt Road on a small street. You want to guess? It's on Hurt Road. Is it on Hurt Road? All right. Now, how about Ruth, the oldest? Did she marry? Yeah, she married Eddie Bailey. Excuse me, who? Eddie Bailey. Eddie Bailey. And where do they live? They live right on the Cumber Lake Road. Is that in Atlanta area? Well, it's in Smyrna. In Smyrna. Eddie Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y? Yeah. I called her because she got a horse down for her. Baby, baby called her. Uh... All right, then the third child, I mean, was it, let's see, the first was Ruth. Delma, has he gotten married? Never dead. Huh? He's deceased too, huh? All right, and then uh, Louise is deceased, so we've taken care of. of uh, then you married Nell West. Is that okay? Nelly. Nelly, okay. Now, of your Charles Oscar and Levice's marriage, the second child was Annie Mae. Did you always call her Annie Mae, or what? The uh, second child was Martha. She dead. Yeah, let me. How long did she live? Just a few months. Very short. Just a few. Just a few weeks. Were you born yourself in Gilmer County? Yeah. And Bertha only lived what? Five, six weeks. Something like that. All right, how about Anna May? Uh, what do you call her? Do you nickname her? I just call her May. May. Do other people call her May too? Or? Most people call her May, yeah. Okay. Did she marry Ed Chanel? That's right. And he farmed around this Marietta area, or what is he? Yeah, he's on the furniture store this side of it. Okay. It, uh, someone told me he was he used to farm around here. Was that true earlier? Or? He did before we, before we got married. And later, uh, he got into the furniture business. Huh? Yeah, he got the furniture business. Is he still in it? Oh yeah. Then Anthony became an attorney in Atlanta, but is unmarried. Is that right? That's right. A-M-T-H-A. And that's what you call her? That's right. Okay. How did she happen to take up law? What, do, you, do you remember her interest as a child or anything? Well, she is... Well, she was secretary for some lawyers. I had Atlanta for a year. So she'd go to night school. I was damn red. She thought she'd learn to be a lawyer. She went from being a legal stenographer to a lawyer, huh? Uh, yeah, she's and she's been a lawyer for many years, hasn't she? Oh, yeah, she got a lot of law people. She did with the same law as she was secretary. Now, do you know the birth date of Anna Mae? Can you remember her birth date? You think it's it's October twentieth on? I believe it is. Is her birthday? And do you know how much younger than you she is? Who Anthony? No, let's start with Anna May. Anna May is about sixty. Do you know her birthday, Anna May's? No, I don't. All right. Do you know Antha's birthday? I heard that day the same thing. Same date? Apparently, they farm on Halloween. Huh? Halloween. 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 Halloween.
Okay, they were all born in Gilmer County, though, right? You were still up in Gilmer County at the time they were born. Who was? A younger sister was born in Cobb County. But uh, Sylvie, May, and were all born up there, and Raymond, huh? Raymond, yeah, he was born up there. Raymond is deceased, huh? Yeah. He never married, or? Yeah, he married. But no children. Got Who did he marry? Do you know? Pair. Huh? He married a pair. P A. P A I R. Do you remember her first name? Uh, was he a lawyer too? Yeah, he was a lawyer too. What was it? Raymond's last first name said. He lived. In, he was an attorney in Smyrna for a long time. Oh huh? yeah, yeah. Did Did he? Do you remember when he died? You have a Bible here? Don't fall down. I got a wire there now, so don't move. I got a wire in front of you. You point in here and I'll get it for you. I see it. Mm -hmm. Did somebody write it down in the Bible? Who was Rembert West? My brother. Huh? Her brother. I see. Raymond Mulkey is who we're talking about. Yeah. So I can get this date right now, can't I? Yeah. <coughs> and then Effie West, huh? That was Cooper White's sister. All right, let me get his deceased date first. Raymond was deceased 2 February 25, 1959. He was a Smyrna lawyer, and you say, you remember his wife's first name? Uh, Geraldine. Geraldine. Geraldine Hare. P-A-I-R, huh? Yeah, thank you, Dr. Rich. <coughs> and they were in Smyrna, but no children. No children. Okay. Now, as Lee was born down this way, she bought a job down. Okay. She's a housewife in Atlanta? Uh, she works. What does she do? She's quit now, though. All right. She, uh, she married a fellow named Williams, is that right? Bobby Williams. What? Bobby Williams. Robert, probably? Robert Bobby, yeah. What does he do for a living? Works in the railroad. What kind of... You know what he does for the railroad? As agent. Railroad agent? Yeah, agent. An agent? No, he always switch engines. Switch. He always switch engines. Yeah. Okay. In the yards, like yeah. yard engines? Yeah, yeah. Is he a yard engineer? That's right. Okay. And uh, they have how many children? Three. Do you know the oldest name? Daphne. Antha, named after your no, sister? Daphne. 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 Daphne is the oldest. Uh, All right. Was one of them named after Antha? Oh, they have the twins. Huh? Yeah, they had twins. They, they, the next two are twins? The next two are twins. So Daphne is the oldest. That's it. And then is are the twins one of them named Antha Ann? That's Ed. And do you remember the third one? Uh, he's a twin to that said Dad. Is he Gary. a boy? Yeah, Gary. Huh? Gary. Antha Ann and Gary. Gary, yeah, then they're twins. They're twins, okay. Yeah, you sure pointed out something in a hurry to me here because this was the, uh, you immediately in this Bible had the, uh, that was Raymond A. Also, I didn't have the middle initial. You know what the A stood for? Altrell, Raymond Altrell. 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 What is that? I don't know. 
you don't know what. <coughs> he died when he was young, didn't he? Oh, yeah, very young. Is that right? Yeah. What did they have? A serious problem? No. Our yeah, brother died first, and then Raymond died in just a week. Okay. I'm putting the Bible back in here now. There's a pair of glasses. I wonder what I could do to make them safe. Did you know there was a pair of glasses? Yeah, I need to put your mic up on the back. All right, I'll put them underneath. I broke, I think. Now let's see, I think we are still got tape on here. I believe you've covered as a lady married Robert Williams, Daphne's the oldest, and Antha Ann and Gary are twins. He's a railroad engineer, she's and they live in the Atlanta area, huh? Yeah, they live in Atlanta. Okay, and you call her Azzy, but most people call her Azzy Lee, huh? Most I've got her Azzy. And then Antha, and then Anna May, who's called May, and then Sylvie. Anna May was a nurse. I didn't know that. Anna May was a nurse? You to be. Any other nurses in the family? Uh-oh. How about any other branch of the family? I never heard about it. She's a registered nurse? Yeah. Okay. I didn't have her down as a registered well, Sylvie, you may want to put in later on something else, but I think Aunt May can uh, help me with some of this other so recollection. Do you have Grandma's Bible in there? Who got that? Uh, I think that's Sister May. I wonder what happened. What, do you know which one of her children might have it? Aunt Maddie's dead. Yeah, but which one of Maddie's children would oh, might have the Bible? Well, she Maddie's home with the shepherds, and she didn't have what she married the shepherd. Yeah, mommy. She died. Be sure of that. She's this is. Maybe there, and we never did get any of her. We never got. I want to get that. that family in a, in a line, and I haven't been got them yet. Well, we got them. I have my daddy's old Bible. Yeah, I have my daddy's old Bible, but it's just about gone. We got them. Yeah, I still trying to hang to it. You've got who's Ben 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 West. Ben West. You have that? Yeah. Where is that now? Still at Adairsville? Well, yeah, still at Adairsville. See, what I've been able to do, like with uh, Kim Mulkey's old Bible and with J uh, Joe Mul is is Xerox it in a library. So you just take off those pages and you keep the Bible, but then there's a historical record in case of a fire, like, you know, where you lost your Bible, uh, Sylvie? Yeah. And then you have it permanently. So yeah, I have it. I, I I put it through a machine where you take it all off, and then you have permanently that like record of the marriages and the births and all. Yeah, I have a record of all mm -hmm. of my own folks is in that Bible. My right, oh, my in your daddy's Bible. Now your home is still in Adairsville, but when do you plan to leave it? Just as quick as I can get my home sold. I've done left. But I'm trying to sell, I'm going to sell. You have both photographs and the Bible up there in your Adairsville home. Yeah, is that right? Home. Did your daddy live with you at any point? Or your mother? Well, my mother lived with me. Your mother? My did. daddy lived at home all the time before he died. He died young, didn't he? Yeah, well, he was, uh, he was about 60 uh -huh. something. Mm -hmm. This is Bud West. Bud West. Yeah. His, his real name was Nathaniel Benjamin, but everybody called him Bud. Bud West. Well, now, most people have been giving him to me as Benjamin Nathaniel. Well, that, you know, it, is that... N.B. was his initials. But he was a baby between me and Rudolph that was named uh, Nathaniel. Baby that died. Yeah, one that died. It was named Nathaniel. My daddy's name was Nathaniel Benjamin. My daddy taught school in his early years. Yeah, let me get. You remember much about your daddy? Oh, I remember everything. 
What was his size, Aunt May? How do you spell May? M A E is what I And what was his size? Was he a tall man? Well, no, medium man? He was just a medium size. He wasn't very tall. What well, color I, hair did he have? Well, what do you call it? I would call it uh, kind of a dark brown. He wasn't real tall. More sandy brown or, or darker? So kind of a dark brown. Dark brown hair. Do you remember him? One of the kindest men we used you remember him, don't He'd come to our house and he'd sleep yeah. out on the porch on the cot. We'd have cotton stored. Did he ever have a beard? Like oh, he wore a little mustache. mustache. A little mustache. Uh -huh. like Did he always wear a mustache? As long back as I can remember, my daddy wore a mustache. Did it ever turn white? Okay. Now, he was a farmer and a school teacher, is that right? He taught school in his early years. Did he teach at Kenimer School? Yes. Because Lily West said he was her first teacher. Yes, he was too. Okay. Now, he also, people tell me, says that he, he could outrun a deer. Did you ever hear that said about him? Well, things, things I have heard him say. What else would you say about him? Well, yes. I just know he was the kindest hearted man and, and would do anything in the world for anybody. He was just a good man all the way around. Mm -hmm. People might all brag, brag about their daddies that way, but I, I never heard anybody tell how my dad was like that. Do you right. remember the story when he met somebody, Aunt May? And he, they, they said their name was East and, and oh, Grandpa. Oh, yeah, I was with him on that day. And Grandpa says, well, my name is Wes, and it was almost a fire. And we, were, we, we had been to church that day, and we stopped at Mr. Knight's to have dinner because we was living at that time in Mr. Batten, one of Mr. Knight's homes, and they were the best people. And we stopped there to have dinner with them on Mr. East was there. Well, my daddy had never met Mr. East, and Mr. East had never met my dad yet. So Mr. Knight introduced me and said, Mr. East, this is Mr. West. And that just tickled everybody's death. I was little, but I remember. Yeah. Well, well, he said, well, I'm glad the East and the West was met. <laughs> yeah. What, what home were you in when that happened? Oh, I was in a home up in Gordon County. Was your daddy from Gilmer, or did he come from I, Habersham? Do you my know? daddy came from Gilmer County. Okay. I, I reckon because I never, mm -hmm. I was the youngest child and I never did know of them living. Mm -hmm. Well, they went to North Carolina and stayed a while. Well, that's right. My, well, my daddy's home in that Yeah, time. they didn't stay very long. They came back in a, in a wagon. Yeah. But that was before your time. Yeah, that was before my time. Okay. I was the youngest of ten children. Would, I, would, would you mind, and I may have to turn that thing over that I've got going there. What I may ask you to do, if it's not too much trouble, is to start with the oldest and run through them so I'm sure I've got my my full list, okay? That was the oldest child. The oldest child of, the, of N.B. West. Mm -hmm. You go ahead. Well, Oliver was the oldest. Oh, Vice was the oldest. Vice that just died, Mike. Yeah, she was the oldest one. I'm the youngest. All right, let me see now. Vice, these are the N.B. West children. Mm -hmm. All right, Vice was the oldest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who was the next oldest? Oliver. Was J.O. the old, next oldest? Next oldest? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Well, you must be Harv. Harv was the next one, but there's a little dead one comes in somewhere. But All right. I Harv, was it Harvard or Harv? Harvard, H-A-R-V-E-Y, Harv. All right. Who did he marry? He married Pearl Lee. All right. Where did they settle? In Gilmer County. All right. Go ahead. I said, give me Harv, and then... Mm -hmm. uh, I had it You'll have to, you, you go ahead, so I'll pick it up here now, too. Let's see. Katie. 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 Katie
I got Vicey, well, J O, and Harvey. Well, then, then Kate. Kate. K A T E? All right. Did she marry Oscar? Is that the one? Yeah. She married Oscar Matthews. Oscar Matthews. I knew him, yeah, yeah. I remember this from that, yeah. Okay. Maggie. Maggie. Maddie. 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 Who did Ma Maddie marry? Uh, she uh, Charlie Griffith the first time. It's many times married twice. Well, let's pass it because I probably got a record. I just want to get it yeah. straight oh, now. Yeah. yeah. Any more? Miles. After Maddie. Miles and Miles. Miles is next. All right. Well, they, they were about. Who dead was in that? When? Dead. Between Maybe Maddie and Miles? Or oh, between Miles and me. Between Miles? Between Miles and me, I'm the baby. Yeah, house. so how many children lived? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three died in, as children? Yeah. And you're the youngest? I'm the youngest. May. There were seven that grew to adulthood, huh? Yeah. Okay. Now, who did you marry, May? Well, I married so many times. <laughs> I married a client the first time. K-O? C-O-I-N-E. C-O-I-N-E. What client was that? Johnny Klein. And uh, then your next marriage? The next time I married, I married a whole. H? Oh, well, C-O-M-B. A Holcomb, H-O-L-C-O-M-B. Were these both Gilmer County boys? No, Mr. Holcomb was. But Klein was. Klein wasn't either. No, 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 okay, what Holcomb did you marry? I married John Holcomb. All right. Go ahead. I heard about Bart. Oh, I forgot Martin Robinson. I was he in between there? Yeah, yeah he's between Holcomb. Yeah, I forgot Martin. Martin. Robinson. All right. And any more? That's all. You came right. up with your Aunt May, didn't you? Yeah. Now, let me see. Were there any children as a result of any of these?